Hello there. Most of you don't know me, though some of you is convinced that you do. I often find myself asking the question, why do I shine? Now that's when I remember that it's a good thing to shine, because by shining, I was helping others to shine too. See, I am most definitely visible to you, though you'd think I was invisible from all the unfortunate weather reports you've been enduring lately. Either way, I am here, and so are you, for the time being. The time being. The time being. You see, time is a curious thing. You live your lives by it. You're governed by it. You could even say it's the most governing thing in the universe as you know it, since there ain't no way around it. You're gonna live, you're gonna die, and everything else in between is just the time that y'all been given to play around with, right? Wrong. Well, I mean about the time, anyway. First of all, you ain't gonna die. Let's just get that out the way. And you ain't going to no imaginary place with a fire everywhere and a big red guy with horns and a pitchfork neither. Everything you are, was, and will be gonna continue to exist long after your play suits have deteriorated, even if time itself stop existing one day. See, time don't really move from past to future, from here to there. That's just the way y'all perceive it for now, and we hope you'll be learning more about that pretty soon. Anyways, seeing as though you ain't got the physiological means yet to visualize what I was talking about, I've decided to take this here opportunity to tell you a little story about my son, Tyrone. Yeah, that's what they calling him now, I suppose. But believe me, me, he's been called other things. Mm. He's usually known around these parts as the Hugh Man. The Hugh Man. On account of the dark hue which embellishes his skin covering. He started out so damn cute, all dark, furry, and fuzzy-like, and with quite a sense of humor, I must say, he got that from me. And there was something really amazing going on in that boy's heart, something that made his neighbors want to take an interest in him. You see, he was developing pretty nicely until some of them neighbors came along and started messing with the boy's DNA structure, changing the appearance of his fuzzy play suit. They wanted him to be more like them, I know they didn't mean him no real harm, but they must have known that by jumping the gun on the boy's evolution like that, especially when his consciousness hadn't matured enough, they was taking a big gamble on what could potentially lead to some, uh, undesirable effects. Now for a young species like yourselves to proliferate, it's usually in the cosmic playbook for the females to be physically attractive to the males. And everybody knows how attractive them human females are. Yes sir, ain't no secret about that. They like eye candy, ain't they? Tyrone will tell you itself. In fact, they so pretty that beings from all over the galaxy have traveled here to interbreed with them. That's right. Don't look so surprised. This been going on since your last leap in consciousness. When you was first aware of time and some other things. All that in the breeding's why you got so many varieties of play suits to choose from now. Nevertheless, inside those suits are the real human beings with real feelings and real thoughts. Real souls. You're no longer fuzzy toddlers, more like rebellious teenagers now. You have been for some time as it would appear to you, but the time has come now, kids, for you to grow up. You at the point where you don't really need to procreate no more. There's too damn many of you now, playing around all at once. That can get kinda dirty. Your mama over there been feeling under the weather lately. And when she under the weather, you under her weather. You beginning to catch my drift yet? Now, I understand you like your pretty things. There's nothing wrong with being attracted to them beautiful suits. And well, some just prefer candy well into their later days. But it comes a time for most of us when the candy alone become too sweet for our taste. It don't satisfy the real hunger we have. The hunger for the only kind of nourishment that the soul really need in order to grow. All that candy just diverts your soul with its sweet sugar. 
and sugar kiss weighs you down. Sure, it can be fun for a while, but in the end, it just ties you out. It ain't a very healthy way to live out your short time on this here little planet of yours. So what if I was to tell you that there exists a sugar substitute out there that's 100% guaranteed to give a human being what he needs to progress? And no, I ain't talking about none of that aspartame crap the Nazis invented. Made y'all think it was good for you. Lord. No, this here's something else. We've got just the sugar substitute you've been looking for. You see, what we're gonna tell you here tonight ain't very complicated. There ain't much to it, but then again, why should there be? There don't need to be. It's all here. Everything your species needs to move ahead. This is the story of you, the evolving human being. Your growth has been monitored, studied, manipulated, and even stunted at times by all those who have taken an interest in you. And yet, despite all the hurdles and obstacles on the way, you have still managed to persevere. You was once again at the point when you get to demonstrate if you's ready to take the next great leap in your conscious awareness. Several times before you have tried, and several times you have failed, but always with a chance to start the process over again, to that wonderful day when you finally get it right. So the real question here is whether or not you gonna weather the storm this time, so to speak. We wasn't sure if you'd be able to do it or not, but Kaibo's got some faith in you. He found it after he finally found a little faith in himself. But I don't want to spoil your story too soon. And just so y'all know, even after you leave here tonight, this story won't be over. No, this story is just beginning. So now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we're going to take you back to a time not too long ago and present to you the man of the hour, Mr. Chiron Therese. 